That is an incredible question, and I think that changes. Right now, I have a dog sitting and house sitting service. I absolutely enjoy that so much. I say that's my happy place, is to be with one of my little clients. That makes me happy, and I think that the real happiness in it is because I have earned their trust. That's very important to me. I've earned their trust, so that really makes me happy. I pretty much tie physical happiness to wellness, which is feeling healthy. I think that's why it's important to me that I exercise and run, I do my cycling because uh, when I feel good physically, then that really affects my mood the most. It's me happy. It's fun. Uh, playing music and playing video games. I like playing video games because there's just sort of like an immediate satisfaction in problem solving. And I like playing music because it's like the one thing I'm good at. I would say what makes me happy is being around people who are also happy and who make me feel loved. Being around things that I love too, like photography or just doing things that I also love. Well, I think uh, at this stage in my life, uh, happiness is probably pretty well tied to good or decent health. And so as long as I'm healthy, I think I tend to be happy regardless of anything else going on around me. When I began to ask people the question, what makes them happy, I kind of thought I would get very similar answers because scientists have found that all human beings need certain things to feel happy. But I realized very quickly that the answers were changing from demographic to demographic. So like youth interview participants, we talked about things that the media shows youth enjoying and participating in. And then older interview participants were more interested by simpler things that didn't involve so much technology because they, they didn't learn about happiness in relation to the technology around them so quickly. And so I didn't really factor in the impact media has in teaching us what should make us happy. And so my next question became, how does the media you are shown affect your standards of and for happiness. I think that it is so phony, the happiness that you see on television. Not everybody is going to have, you know, the perfect marriage or the kids that are never in trouble. So I, I think it's the phoniness of it. So I tend to seek out media that are different from you know what I would be shown just because I don't like what I'm being shown. I'm, I'm not interested in advertisements. I like learning about how other people live. In finding out you know what it's like to live in other cultures that I think has really affected my happiness in a positive way because I know that there's more out there than mainstream middle-class white America. It kind of goes both ways it's kind of a negative and a positive um, for example the news that can be a very a negative thing and then things like social media can also be negative but on the total opposite, they can be positive. They can let you know what's going on in the world, and social media can help you develop a sense of yourself out in the world also, so. The answer to the question about how media shapes our standards of and for happiness were all very different. The only thing that united them all was that people were dissatisfied with the media were shown. But that got me thinking, how do we know what someone else looks like when they're happy if the media is giving us a dissatisfactory version of that? So I thought the simplest and easiest question to ask next was what does happiness in other people look like to you? Big smiles, lots of laughter, even though I know things that are going on in their backgrounds which wouldn't make somebody really happy, they find laughter. Yeah, when I see that happening in people, then I know there's some kind of peacefulness that they have in their heart, one of the things that leads to happiness.
is a real peacefulness in your own heart. It looks like people enjoying each other and having fun together sometimes. Like people by themselves, they can look really peaceful or like they're enjoying their activity. You know, it's just, it, I think it's very intuitive. You can just tell. People who are physically healthy, people who uh, are feeling joy, they're outgoing, they seek out healthy relationships. Like just not looking like they have the entire world on their back. They feel a sense of worth and they are willing to communicate with you, you know. They are doing things, they're not just laying around and they're active. And if you see people that are smiling and laughing and happy, being together with the people that they love and respect, uh, I believe that's it.